Everybody, it's Ann. I'm hoping that, like Angie says, we're seeing this in black and white. I'm doing a collab with Angie from 4F Beauty. It's one of the picture series, and the picture is absolutely glorious. Wonderful thing. I'm hoping that I manage to get it right here. And I'm hoping that the picture of Angie shows up right here. <laughs> we will see how that goes in the edit. Anyway, enough of this. I'll see you on the other side of the transition. Hi everybody, it's Anne. How you doing? I'm hoping that there was an intro that was done in black and white. We will keep our fingers crossed. This is where I get to start talking about the lovely picture that Miss Angie from 4F Beauty sent over. This is a picture a friend of hers took in Norway and the colors are subtle but you've got defined breaks between the darks and the lights where there's the rocks and the snow and the shadows. The sun is just this glow of a ball sitting between the ridges and the sky is kind of a pearl blue. It's very subtle in some ways and very very stark in others because of the snow and the ice and the way the sunlight is hitting. This one's going to be fun. Now, I really, really, really am thrilled that Angie agreed and accepted my invitation to do this because since I don't normally go for big name products, I can't really do the same kind of, of collaborations a lot of people do where they're taking the same palette and you know doing a bingo or taking the same palette and trying to figure out how they're going to you know you know they all take the same colors and okay fine let's see what you do with it kind of thing I like collaborations where you've got something like the image and it's okay now you've got what you've got let's see what you get to finish this up with so i am thrilled i really am and now that i'm finished with that little spiel i'm gonna start or at least get some of it started get my mirror here so that it's focused right now, one of the things I also want to thank Angie for is this stuff. I don't know if it's the exact same brand that she uses, but this is called Zero Sweat. It's a lotion, and it works on hands and faces. Now, I have some of the same medical issues that Angie does with things like fibro and not being able to handle heat and not being able to really control your own body temperature. 
so I once I discovered this stuff, my husband said, here, let me buy that for you. <laughs> so I use it where I sweat the most. You know, near the eyes and around the nose and across the forehead so that once I put this put the makeup on it's not automatically just sweating off and running away and running down my face it doesn't take a lot of this thank goodness but I picked up the zero sweat through Amazon it's just an antiperspirant lotion if you have issues with things like aluminum and you don't want to deal with aluminum this is not the product for you if you are somebody though who has a lot of issue with sweating and not being able to control your body temperature or you just happen to be one of those persons who is stuck with lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of sweat production in warm weather or whatever I suggest you think about this product do your little bit of research decide whether or not it you think it would work for you oh yes I've been ill lately Yes, I know. I sniffle all the time. I'm sorry. It's called allergies. But, we've got that bit done. Already had the moisturizer on. We're good there. Now I'm going to start working on my eyes. I am taking my favorite AOA Studio undercover in white this is my favorite base it just is and at a buck I'm not going to complain yes there are more expensive ones that you can get that are like really 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 well respected and all that however I happen to like AOA Studio and Shop Miss A because they've got really good products that I have come to trust their brushes are cruelty free and excellent their products are listed as cruelty free. We can debate that listing all day long. Because for the right donation, you can get listed with PETA. PETA is not one of my favorite. organizations they have some kind of sketchy ideas about how things are supposed to work and some of their shelters that they have put together have a really bad habit of euthanizing and healthy animals instead of adopting them out because some of their people really 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 believe that people should not quote unquote keep animals of any kind for any reason and I'm sorry you mess with my companion animals. I'm not talking nice to you anymore. I want my companions. I treat them well. They're well cared for. Well loved. 
and you can't. We've spent a long time putting animals in homes with people, like millennia, where you know it started with them taming wolves and stuff. I'm not going to turn all of those now dependent animals out or just put them out of their misery. Dot, dot, dot. Because somebody else thinks that they're miserable in their situation, living with a human. It's like, yeah, try again. Anyway. Enough for the politics. I'm not here for politics. Yeah, right. We're talking about me now. I know, I'm bad. This is supposed to be about eyeshadow and, and nifty pictures. Now, I've got this nice white field to work with. The sky, I've got my picture over here so I can see it. It's enlarged, all that stuff. Remember, the glasses are over there too. So it's kind of a pearl gray and blue with the sky. So I'm going to start. with this gray palette. Try not to blind you here. And lay down some pale gray first in the area just above my natural crease. Because, yes, I have hooded eyes. Now, Angie has deep set eyes. I have the hooded eyes. My eyelid folds down over the lower lid, and I have almost no lid with my eyes wide open. The mobile lid just gets folded under the upper lid and disappears. I've also got crepey eyes. I've also got some loose skin. I've lost 150 pounds. I used to be much larger. I'm 60 years old. I've earned my wrinkles. They're a pain in the rear while I'm trying to do eyeshadow, but I've earned every one of them. Now, Angie will say that if you have hooded eyes, to take a straight brush and mark where you want your crease to be. If you are just getting started, please follow that advice. I've been doing this a little while and have a tendency to go my own way anyway when it comes to some things, including the way I lay down color and blend and such. Now with the gray, I'm doing probably what several people would say don't do, which is with a fresh base. I'm doing a lot more back and forth than they would suggest. But then again, having the gray be a little patchy and a little streaky here and there 
I think may actually help me out with putting the blue in and getting the kind of mottled appearance of the sky. No, I'm not trying to repaint the picture. I'm just going with the, the appearance I'm seeing in the picture. Believe me, I don't have the skill to repaint the picture. I need to darken that one corner up just a tad. Now, eyes are not even. Eye shapes are not identical. Variations means you're going to be looking for a pattern when you're looking in the mirror. Does it look approximately the same? If it looks approximately the same side to side, You've got your colors pretty well laid out. Don't try to worry about whether or not they measure the same, because they don't. They're just not going to. Just do your best to try and put the colors in an even manner so that the eyes look similar. You're not going to have perfection. It just, it doesn't happen. Now, the Gray's palette is the BYS Smokies. Love the BYS. I picked it up at a, a discount grocery store for five bucks. Yeah. Love it. Alrighty, now I'm going to take kind of a, now this is, this blue has got a bit of a shimmer to it, but I'm not going to spray it, but it's the palest blue I own. And I'm going to just kind of start tapping this, because I don't want it to blend completely into just kind of want it to hint at being there. It just kind of sneak in. Now I'm hoping that Angie would like to do a wrap too, because that means I get to pick the picture. And I've already got one in mind that I believe will tickle, tickle her colorful attention. And no, I'm not going to show it yet. But I, I absolutely love this series. I have seen some incredible, incredible looks come out of this series. And some of the most gorgeous pictures I've ever seen. The one that they that she did just a couple of days ago um, with the bird. That was an intensely bright birdie. And a gorgeous, absolutely beautiful bird. Now, the blue that I'm using is from Beauty Creations Elsa palette. The Elsa palette is one of Beauty Creations um, princess collection. They've got, there's a pant load 
of the Princess Collection. Now, J.B. and Eves and Always May, and Always May is Always M-E-I online, but J.B. and Eves, which comes up if you look for jbeves.com, carry the beauty creations, and they are not expensive. JB and Eves also carries things like Ocalon and Amuse and Always May carries Amuse and Clean Color. They are inexpensive but well made cosmetics. I like them, they fit my budget. And my budget is not because I'm cheap, though I am. <laughs> my budget is because where I live in the U.S. is not the most inexpensive place in the world to be. It also has to do with being someone who is on disability because I got issues. So fixed income, we do what we can. All right, now I'm going to start working on, there is this beautiful, beautiful lavender that's part of the shadows on the snow that I'm going to try and pick up. I've got a violet in the beauty glazed Starlesia. Excuse me, Strelizia. I uh, picked that one up through Amazon. Now, some of the shadow is a violet, purpley color, and some of it's got almost a salmon pink to it. Kind of depends on exactly where the sun is hitting it and how close some of the rock is to the surface. Because some of the rock, it looks like a pink basalt. This is definitely got some interesting rock formations and some of the rock formation looks like it's got more brown and gray and you know granite colors Yes, I'm going to be fiddling my fingers every so often because my hands like to cramp. And it's kind of like every so often Angie will say, I need to wiggle. I'll be right back because she starts to hurt. And that's how it works. Luckily, me. When my hands start to cramp, I can just kind of wiggle them a bit and fiddle with them. Sometimes I pop a joint or two, just pop, pop, pop. I've been dealing with it for a long time. I've gotten used to it. It's looking pretty good. I 
And yes, I'm, I made my own color switch. It's a little tin I picked up at the Dollar Tree. It actually has a little lid. And this is a ponytail donut. I keep two ponytail donuts. When I take one out to wash it, the other one goes in. Now, let's see. A little bit of that sort of a salmon -y pink. Now I'm kind of leaving the inside corners alone right now because what I want to try to do is I've got a color that I think would look good in the corners that will come pretty close to giving an effect that will look a bit like that sun disk. I'm hoping. And don't worry, there will be some rock colors. This is actually showing up well on the camera since it's a lot more subtle than one would normally expect with something I was doing. Okay, I'm going to take a little bitty smudge brush and I'm going to spritz with my homemade setting spray. feral off just a bit and go into this corner like that with this gold. Now this is another pickup from the Australesia which is, it's just called pale gold. It's almost more of just a glow than a color because it is so pale. But it reminded me of that sun disk in the picture. Now, for the homemade setting spray, I found a DIY online in YouTube that had several different people lined up showing how to do a homemade setting spray. And if you want, you can actually just use water to wet your wet your brush with, a, with the pigment on it. It doesn't have to be setting spray. But the main difference between water and setting spray, for the most part, is a little bit of glycerin. Vegetable glycerin. So I got myself a little spray bottle and I took their 
online recipes and bought a five dollar bottle of vegetable glycerin five dollar bottle veg, vegetable glycerin it's four fluid ounces you need about 20 to 30 drops to make a bottle this size. You can either fill the rest of it with just plain water. If you've got lousy tap water, use some bottled water. Be nice to yourself. If you want, you can you fill it half water and half with a toner. I happen to use my witch hazel toner. Inexpensive. You could use like, you know, the rose water toner from, from one of the um, herbal places or something like that. It's up to you. It doesn't have to smell. And the, the, the people that were doing this were basing their concept on the Mac Fix Plus. And as far as they're saying, it works just as well. I have no idea. I haven't ever tried the Mac Fix Plus. However, I will tell you, this works an absolute treat. It really does. It'll spritz your stuff. And it'll help it stick. And I use it for setting spray when I get finished with everything. Now, I've got a couple of different browns here that I'm going to use to go under the eye. Now, this one's just a start. I'm going to drag that line out this way and up just a bit. After all, we are in the mountains. However, dragging the line up just a bit does usually improve the look of your eye. Makes it look a little more youthful by drawing the attention upward. You really don't want to go straight out or down because then you look droopy. And believe me, these eyes are droopy enough. And then I'm going to bring this one back in just a little bit and kind of latch it in to the edge of the upper lid. Just a tick. Nothing big. Because in a couple of minutes, when I've gotten finished doing this starting point, I'm going to go off and put the rest of my face on. And then I will put a bit more rock color here and there. And finish this up. And then I will inform you that I'm finished and that you should now go see Miss Angie. And believe me, I can't wait to see Miss Angie. This is fun. 
and I want to see what she did with this gorgeous picture. I am having a lovely time with my first international collaboration. Yes, I've done a few collabs in the time I've been on here, but most of it is people I've already known, and they're on this side of the pond. You know, the U.S. side of the pond. Oh, by the way, for anybody out there who is... We're sorry. I didn't vote for him. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, I'm going to go put the rest of my face on. I'll be right back. Hello. I'm back. What do you think? Yes, I know. I got a little bit editorial under the eyes. But I think I've got most of the colors from the picture in this look. And even though it's relatively pale, I think it does pretty well. Take a challenge. Pick a picture. Try it yourself. Maybe you can work with Angie too if you ask nice. <laughs> Love you, Angie. I'm waiting to see yours. Just remember, there is no bail money. Be good.